the Jack Benny program with Jack's guests Wayne Newton and Louie Nye. Welcome to the show. Now, to get on with... Oh, I know that for those of you who are uh, a little bit... Uh, I must explain this elephant. I won her at a raffle. That's right, in a raffle. Other people win automobiles, uh, television sets, diamond wristwatches, rings. I had to win an elephant. Now, I'm sorry, I found the ticket. You can, you can take her off now. Okay, Bimbo, go. Bimbo, go. Go, Bimbo. What's the matter? She doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to go. We had that same trouble all through rehearsal. Don, Don Wilson, come out here, will you please? They like to walk in pairs. <laughs> Imagine a pet, an elephant for a pet. Not only does she eat me out of house and home, you know, but after she's around for a while, she gets sort of, well, for want of a better word, gamey. <laughs> now, what are you gonna do? I can't put her in the shower. Now, I wouldn't know where to roll on the deodorant. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. A few days ago, I took her to a three-minute car wash on the corner of Wilshire and Doheny. And everything was going fine until they hit her in the back with that hot steam. The car wash is now on Pico and Sepulveda. The fellow who owns the place is an Oxnard. To get on with the show, ladies and gentlemen. You know, last summer I happened to be playing in Lake Tahoe, and on the bill with me was one of the most exciting young singers that you've ever heard. In fact, uh, his recording of Dankeschön, remember that wonderful song, Dankeschön? His recording of that sold over two million copies. And I'm very fortunate in having him on the show with me here tonight as my guest. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Newton. <laughs> Wayne, I was just telling the audience, I'd like to repeat it right now, how happy I was the time you were on the bill with me at Lake Tahoe. Thank you very much, Mr. Benny. Thank you. And I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he was actually a sensation there. You know, I, I can't tell you how many nights he received a standing ovation. That's more than I got. Well, the nights the audience gave me a standing ovation, Mr. Benny, it was because there were more people my age than your age. Wayne, there are always more people your age than my age. <laughs> Believe me. You know, Mr. Benny, working with you was an experience that I'll never forget. Whenever I wasn't on stage myself, I'd always stand on the wings and I'd watch you. The way you move your hands and mm -hmm. the way you walk. Well, walk. <laughs> well, you know, strangely enough, that you should mention that because uh, a lot of people have worked with me and stole my mannerism, you see, but you, but you didn't. With my voice, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I see. 
Now, Wayne, why don't you run along and get ready for your song? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, by the way, Mr. Benny, uh, I don't like to complain, sir, but, well, I'm not very happy with the dressing room arrangements you made for me. Well, Wayne, I'm sure that sometime, somewhere in your career, you must have shared a dressing room. Not with an elephant. <laughs> a little bit crowded. I don't know what happens to these young fellas now in show business. I remember when I was in vaudeville, I remember playing a theater that only had one dressing room. And I had to share it with three mules, two seals, two horses, a chimpanzee, and Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire the dancer? That's where he learned. Wayne, uh, what are you going to sing for us? Huh? Well, uh, anything you want to hear, Mr. Benny, because I owe you so much. Oh, stop. You don't owe me anything. No, really. I mean it. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Benny was the first one to give me an opportunity in show business. Look, at, they don't want to hear about that. But I want to tell them exactly oh. how it happened. You see, folks, it happened a few years ago at a big charity garden party in Beverly Hills. Thank you. Thank you very much, friends. And now, your charming host for the evening, who would like to say a few words. And here he is. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank all of you for turning out for this wonderful charity. <laughs> Are you having fun? Oh, come on, come on. You can do better than that. Are you having fun? <laughs> Now, look, look at here. I'm not going to stand out here and uh, take a lot of your time talking, but I do want to thank all the wonderful people who donated their services, and especially Mrs. Deborah, who, with her own little lungs, blew up each and every one of these balloons that she sent. <laughs> bless you, bless you, Mrs. Deborah. What a sweet person. I'd ask her to stand up, but I know the lady is pooped. <laughs> be having some entertainment. So in the meantime, in the meantime, have fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, sir. Shoulders back. Make sure that there are enough coffee cups on all the tables, please. Yes, sir. Don't shame. <laughs> sir, what was that? Don't shame. Thank you. Oh, is that what it means? <laughs> Benny! Oh, there you are, Mr. Benny. My name is Harvey Hollis Pickering. How do you do, Mr. Pickering? Oh, come on now. You call me Harvey, you can call me Hollis or Pico. Pico. Yes, that's a good one. Uh, Mr. Benny, it's so nice of you to do this charity show for us. Well, I always like to do my part, of course. But, uh, but nobody told me what exactly, what is this charity for? All right, now, this is for a very, very worthy cause. You see, we're raising funds to send the underprivileged Beverly Hills children to camp. <laughs> underprivileged children in Beverly Hills? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful schedule. As soon, uh, as soon as their private school is out, we fly those kids to the French Riviera. Jet. <laughs> From there, a chauffeur whisks those kids off to Paris, where they stay in a primitive, funny little hotel. So the kids get a chance to see the more rowdy side of life. <laughs> you see, Mr. Benny, it's a very, very worthy cause. Incidentally, since you're doing so darn much for us already, <laughs> how would you like to be a sponsor? A sponsor? I'd rather be one of the kids. <laughs> now, uh, tell me, uh, Mr. Pico, when I, uh, who do I, whom do I follow when I go on to entertain? Whom you follow? Yeah. Mr. Benny, didn't they tell you? No, no. I... You are the only entertainer, Mr. Benny. The only... What kind of programming is that? 
I mean, you should have somebody on there before I come on. I mean, isn't there anyone here with talent? Mr. Benny, I, uh, I do a wide assortment of bird calls. They're quite effective. Bird calls? Yes. That was a red-tufted germ crane, one-legged. <laughs> red-tufted germ crane? Portugal. What? What? A green-eyed Zendi. <laughs> A Zendi? That's extinct. Certainly does. <laughs> this has a strange name it's called a barker deaf stepper a barker deaf sever deaf oh deaf sapper oh my god yes a deaf sapper yeah well look never mind never mind don't worry about that I, don't uh, don't do bird calls i'll go on first I'll go on. First. All right. I'll uh, I'll introduce you in a minute Bye. or two. Right. Bye. Thank you. I'll be back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Oh, that silly baby. <laughs> you know what that was? What? A mernzindi. <laughs> mernzindi. A mernzindi. Zindi. Zindi. <laughs> what is it doing in Beverly Hills? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Imagine a, a big star like me having to open the show. The audience will be so cold, I won't have a chance in the world. Oh, Mr. Evan. Mr. Benny. Yes, yes, kid. Uh, I hate to bother you, sir, but could I have your autograph? Yes, yes, yes. Gee, I hope someday I can get into the show business. Really? Yes, sir. You see, I sing a little. Well, I had the second lead in our high school musical last year. Oh, fine, fine. Here you are, kid. Gee, thanks a lot, Mr. Benny. You're welcome, you're welcome. Hey, hey, kid, come back here. Yes, sir. Back, I just thought of something. How would you like to sing a number here tonight? Me? Yes. In front of all those people? Sir, you said you wanted to get into show business. Now, here's your chance. Look, at, I'll introduce you. You do as well as you can, and then I'll come on. Now, what'd you say your name was? Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a real, real feather in our caps tonight. We're privileged to have here tonight, for your entertainment pleasure, a fellow that I'd like to say is just a, a real nice guy. And, and thank you, sir, for all the happy hours. The one and only Jack Benny. <laughs> start my part of the program, I'd like to bring out a young fellow who here, who happens to be one of the waiters, you see, and he's a nice kid, and I understand he sings, so I want you all to be very, very kind to him and give him a chance, and here he is, Mr. Wayne Newman. <laughs> Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton. Yes, sir. Newton. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, Newton. Nice. oh yes. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Mr. Wayne Newton. Uh, do you know a tune like Falling in Love? I don't know the key. Is falling for make believe. Falling in love with love is playing the fool. Caring too much is just a juvenile fancy. Learning to trust is just for children in school. I fell in love with love. 
one night while the moon was full. I wasn't wise with eyes that able to see. They want to encourage you, Wainsey. Yes, sir. Have you got another little number you could do? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, well, do it. Uh, do you know a song like When the Saints Go Marching In? Let's do it.
just standing out here and doing a lot of jokes. I'm going to give you a real treat by playing for you one of the great classics for the violin. Brahms' Hungarian Dance, number five. was the show. And Wayne, it was a pleasure having you on my program. Well, all I have to say is danke schön. <laughs> and I'm sure you all know that the one who played Mr. Pickering was Louis Nye. <laughs> Louis, would you like to say good night to the folks? No. <laughs> but <laughs> I'd rather say good night to my feathered friends. Your feathered friends? Oh, oh you <laughs> Which one was that? That, Jack, was the red navelled <laughs> wet-backed Zort Zouch. Zort Zouch? That's it. <laughs> well, tonight, folks, I'll be seeing you soon. Zort Zouch.